The team is led by Red One Wing Commander Jace Walker, who is the aircraft at the front of the formation. Changing now into Diamond Nine as they go about 1.6 kilometres above us. Jace used to fly the Tornado, to tornado GR1 ground attack aircraft, but he also likes to go kite surfing and to play the piano. As far as we can tell though, Jace only knows how to play one song on the piano, and that's eight, Red 8 and Red 9 are 100 metres apart, so for them it's a difficult formation to fly. They're very, very close there. Yeah, for these outside men, when the leader rolls, they not only roll with him, but they have to climb and descend a lot and make big power changes. just two or three meters apart in these formations. If you look just on the right hand side of the leader, you can see Red 2, Flight Lieutenant Zane Sennett. Now he's the second best looking man on the team. After me, F Valley. At the moment though, he's in Diamond 9 formation with the white smoke on as they fly the Diamond Chicane. Concorde formation now. This is named after the supersonic airliner Concorde. Everybody used to love the Concorde. I couldn't afford to fly in it. So this, is, so this is how I do Concorde now. Det ligner fuldkommen Concorden, altså den fasong, den har i formationen derop. It's beautiful, Graham. Thank you. This is my favorite formation. So even if we can't see the real Concorde fly anymore, well, in the Red Arrows we still love to do it. So as the white smoke comes on, this is the Concorde Bend. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about flying close formation. All military pilots can fly close formation, and to do it, you need to look at the lead aircraft all the time. So all the pilots are looking at Red 1, up at the front. As you can imagine, if they're looking at him, they only see their wingman around them for very short periods of time. This is Apollo formation. It's called Apollo because it looks like the Eagle landing spacecraft of the Apollo 11 lunar landing missions in 1969 when Neil Armstrong landed on fighter pilot. And girls, I'm sure he'd be happy to tell you he was a fighter pilot in the bar as he chatted you up. Right now, though, he's rolling back to form Typhoon Formation as Jace pulls them up in 4G as they climb in Typhoon. So now the aircraft are one kilometre high above us. The speed is just 250. Now they're at 400 miles an hour. Sit and roll. This is the really, really swear. The whole formation is going to be around in a row. So we're going to do different maneuvers for all. As they pull up now at 4G in a loop. Det her kamera er klar, og hvis det bliver deroppe, 
So get ready with the cameras. Left, here is the synchro pair running in. Some double rolls, closing at 1,300 kilometers an hour. at the front, they're just passing very close. Really exciting. Andrew Keith, known as Boomer, he's a Kiwi. On the right, stepping down, is Enid. They're flying a formation called the Goose. We have to do blue, white, red. <laughs> okay, let me tell you about Boomer. He was the guy pulling up. He's a Kiwi pilot. He joined the Royal New Zealand Air Force before he came to the Royal Air Force. But because he's a Kiwi, he has strange taste in food. And the other day, this is absolutely true, I saw him eat a beef burger with egg, mayonnaise and beetroot on it all at the same time. It's disgusting and we tell him we don't do this in England. It's the synchro pair for some double rolls. The air brakes are out for this one to make a better smoke trail. Four, five. And as red one rolls here, the pilots below him need to swing out to the side using rudder. It's quite a difficult maneuver to fly. in the red arrows are the BAE Systems Hawk T Mark 1. It's a lovely aircraft, it's a fast jet trainer, but it's 30 years old. That's why we have a lot of very hard working engineers and technicians on the team who work all year round to keep our aircraft flying. Some of you, if you have a car which is 30 years old, know how difficult it is to start in the morning, or well, sometimes it's the same for an aircraft of the same age. So once again, here's some red, white and blue smoke as Enid flies leader's benefit. Make the python. And here you can see the pilots drawing the, the, the coils of the python in the sky. You need a good imagination though. Michael Puchon in here, bewegen sie hier. Here's the Puchon's land. down with seven, eight and nine, the right way up, flying a minus two and a half G barrel roll. So you can see six is upside down in relation to the other aircraft. It's a very difficult maneuver to fly. And Red Six's eyeballs will be popping out of his head. The inside guys roll around the outside guys who slide up to fill the gap. This is one of their hardest manoeuvres in the second half. Per break, we start with eight and nine rolling around the smoke trails of six and seven. Then synchro roll and we get ready for the cross. So keep your cameras ready. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Red Arrows. It's been our to the 